you press the left mouse button, shoot a bullet, and the bullet kills an enemy. This is a Game Dev 101 video, so you are going to learn general concepts, but to demonstrate them, we are going to use the Godot engine. In Godot engine, we can define input actions in the project, project settings, input map. For instance, these are the input actions in this project. With an input action defined, we can check for input events, such as pressed and released. For instance, when the move up action is pressed, we can accelerate a spaceship. Take a look at the official documentation to know more about Godot Engine input system. Links in the description. Instancing is a concrete creation of an object in the game. It can be a visual effect, a monster, or an abstract object such as a damage object with information such as damage type or damage source. In games, there is a special type of instancing that is called spawning. It's essentially the same process, but spawning refers to concrete objects in the game world such as a monster, an NPC, loot, and so on. Check out my Spawn 2D video to understand how spawners work. As an example, in this game, we spawn bullets from the player's weapon. Because they are part of the game world, the spawning process requires a positioning space to place the objects. In this specific case, I also rotate the bullets so they move in the direction the player shot them. Object interactions are the core of a game, the player is talking to an NPC, the sword of a boss is slashing through the player's flesh, or, like in this case, a bullet hitting an asteroid. We need to detect when all this happens. In games, the way we usually detect such interactions is by checking if the objects are overlapping. And for that, we have the Area 2D node. It has four useful signals for this purpose. Area entered, area exited, body entered, and body exited. Using these features, we can create a hit and hurt system. If you want to know more about hitboxes and hurtboxes, check out this video from GDQuest. And now we finally have a toy to play with. If we add a go and some incentives, we can even make a game out of it. I just started a membership campaign on Coffee. Members have access to exclusive content, including a sneak peek to my upcoming ebook. They also get access to the project files I create for videos like this one, and even more. Become a supporter right now to get access to all these benefits. Links in the description. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Keep developing and until the next time.